What's up guys, Black Holes and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Second 2024 episode number 3 of our Giro d'Italia playthrough. Uh, I've got the same quote as yesterday's video because I'm recording the same day and I'm not going to change for the sake of the video, right? I had to dress already for the sake of the video, so calm down, right? I still wanted this to be suitable for advertisers, but still. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed yesterday's video, a bit of, a, of an L in the sprint element for me. But um, it's, it's fine. Hopefully the sprint was also nice in real life. I don't know. I'm currently still backing Giacomo Nizzolo at the time. Sorry, I'm backing Caleb Ewan, my bad, at the time I'm recording this. Uh, we'll see if the Aussie has done well. Uh, but I don't expect the Aussie to do well in this stage 3 between Bia and Canale. Uh, because we have three climbs. The climb of Piancanei, Castino and Manera. And then we have this IS at the summit of Guarene. But mainly it's like... 13k until the end and I think played strategically I could try to do something to separate Peter Sagan from the rest of the sprinters and maybe have like a guaranteed top two and the stage is underway plus one for Buchmann plus two for Matteo Favreau I feel like PCM is trying to tell me something here that I should try to um put the hammer down in the words of Lewis Hamilton or Peter Bonington I guess um but we'll have our riders at the front as I said three climbs today uh, which is why Berhan is back in the break. He wants to um, strengthen his lead in the mountain classification, the word of Mkofilis. Uh, he's joined by Eduardo Sepulveda, strong of a, of a very decent tour of Turkey, actually. But everyone has been co op. All right, nice one, Ashley Bodnar, for your work. I'm going to send Giovanni Aleotti in the breakaway today. Uh, out of. Um, I don't know. Just because I want him. Right, so Gaviria is chasing everyone. That's odd. Remy Cavagna is also like taking part in a massive chase here. And the last time I seen such a big, such a big, a big chase, sorry, it was Benji Nassen's videos. Uh, Gaviria, stop pacing. I'm not dangerous. Wallahi. He doesn't give a shit about it. Well, Giovanni Leuti never made the break. However, uh, we have Cesare Benedetti, who I believe recently changed nationalities from Italian to Polish. Uh, with a bit of an odd move, kind of similar to like the Gasparotto move uh, earlier this year when he became um, Swiss in his sports nationality. We're joined by Attilio Viviani, the brother of Elia in the break. Ryan Taramay, Ju not Julius. Uh, Luke? Luke von Lindberg? And uh, Martin Dina, one of the um, contenders for the mountain classification in my eyes. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Cezare will try to take the points but with a minus one. And once again, I wanted to reiterate uh, the praise I gave to the stage makers as we're exiting this town. Um, Emre, Nibali, Barna, Stylus. Incredible work they've done with, um, with the parkour of this Giro. It's a very, very well-made race knowing that PCM doesn't really allow to have um, graphic prowesses. So yeah, they've done really well as we're currently in the trees. So we'll go back to this camera. But yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know if the links will still be in the description for them. I know there is, there are, sorry, in the first video. So if you want to take a look at that, feel free to do so. But yeah, unreal work again by the, by the four of them. All right, Chizai got dropped by the breakaway because apparently I wasn't pacing high enough. Uh, I mean, uh, f fuck off, uh, I guess. Um... We're coming in on the, um, IS as well. I'd like to go to a pizza again. Getting water. Gros Arna has been getting water for quite a while, but he got um slightly hampered by a crash, a crash involving Gers on Emden, who's currently in A2, I think. Um so I don't know if Peter Sagan will have the uh, chance of getting water. However, we should be able to defeat um at least Jasper the Boost. Caleb Young will be the the first here. It's a bit of an L, I'm I can't lie. But it happens. It happens. Well, they're gonna have six, 56 points. Vivian is 37 and Caleb Ewan uh, jumps up to fourth place, I think. Also, we're losing a lot of positions in the uh, Piancanelli. Okay, didn't really uh, see that coming, if I'm gonna be honest. All right, sure. Um, I'd like to get water with Peter as well. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do that. Peloton trying to catch the break where Remy Cavagna is uh, just mental. Remy, what are you doing? Second climb of the day, same story. The peloton just really going at it here. Remy Cavagna 
uh, doesn't want to uh, let the sprinters win by the looks of it. I mean, we all know that De Konank usually um, likes the, uh, the sprints on Grand Tours. However, they have no sprinters here on the Zero d'Italia. Uh, their, their quicker guy is probably like, I, I don't know, probably Joel Almeida. Um, or like Michael Frolich Honoré. Or Ilio Kaiser. So, not exactly quick uh, per se. So yeah, it's uh, interesting to see them uh, try to create gaps. Felix Rochatner is at the back of this group as well. I'd like him to come back. Um, are they creating gaps with 40k to go? Mikel Frolich Honore, what, what are you doing? There's 30k to go, and it is Gianni Moscon leading the peloton. Uh, Fabro is a tad behind uh, Fabro. If you could come back, that'd be ideal. Try to attack. Uh, bridge the group ahead, that'd be more than appreciated. Uh, the pink jersey has been dropped. The pink jersey of Tobias Foss. Uh, somewhat in intriguing. Didn't really uh, expect that to happen. But Matteo Fabro is going to bridge the gap with the first group. That's perfect. Let's actually uh, toggle the top 10 number of Sangdigs. Uh, Groschartner is in this group as well. In the leading group, we still have Buchmann. We still have Pizzegan. Uh, but we now have Matteo Fabro. In, as I said, a group of 60 riders. We'll have the KUM. Sorry, the, KUM, the final IS um, in 10 kilometers. Which is where I'll be hoping to, uh, to do something decent and also someone's trying to come back that's Simon Pedro trying to bridge the first group and there we go here we go Guarene final hill of the day Peter Seri leading the way here's James Knox already in second place god they're going 99 they are literally going 99 I mean okay sure acceleration Davide Formolo going for a move can you hold on for a 14 km solo? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, final little part of the hill here. Burman is going to try and uh, match Vendrame. Are we gone? We are gone. Uh, yeah, no. Zekovo Mosca will, uh, will probably be judging. Oh, actually. Actually. Yeah, no, 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 we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. We're done, we won't be able to do anything here. Yeah. Right, so again in the will of Buchmann, Buchmann in the will of, of Matteo Fabro. And uh, acceleration yet again, Davide Formolo. God, he's unbelievable today. Uh, we've got 23 riders in this group. Make that 48 as Matteo Jorgensen and basically Astana comes back. Um, Tobias Foss is not coming back. Now there is James Knox, he's Dan Martinez, the white jersey. Giacomo Nizolo, sadly, is still here. Mm-hmm. Right, let's have a slow tempo with Buchmann. Make sure that the Marquis doesn't attack. And there's a little hill here. There's a little hill. Formolo Sue, so did I. Formolo Sue, so did I. Remke Venepoel is in the wheel already of um of Formolo. But Remko carries on. Remko carries on. Attack by, by uh, Remke Venepoel. Attack by Remke Venepoel. We've had Hunnewegen winning yesterday. Can we have Remke Venepoel today? Can we have just uh, people coming back? I don't know, 28 riders, acceleration from Dan Martin on the right-hand side of the road. Buchmann is going to chase his Ergan Bernal as well. Mad, that's a big attack. That is a big attack by Dan Martin. Buchmann will launch the sprint. Peter Sagan in prime position to nab the win today in the streets of Canale. No one can defeat Peter Sagan who wins the third stage of the Giro d'Italia ahead of Peo Bilbao and Simon Yates. Remco Vinopol in 4th position, Mikel Landa, Bauke Malma, Hugh Carthy in 8th, George Bennett in 7th, Balde and Gianni Moscon, Buchmann finishes with everyone in P13. No signs of other sprinters today. We've done the job perfectly. Uh, I came here to win, and I left with a dub. Is it the first of many for Boran's grow on this Giro d'Italia? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Pete Sagan wins today in Canale, ahead of Peo Bilbao, Simon Yates. Um, we'll have a new Malia Rossa as well. I don't know who it's going to be. Um, is it Remco? It might be Remco, actually. It is. Remco Evenepoel leads after stage 3 of the Giro. Are we going to have a base repetita from last year with Joe Almeida taking 15 days, I think, in pink? I don't know. Simon Yates in second place. Joe Almeida in third. Jan Tratni, Caruso, Bauke, Malama, Peter Sagan in P7. Demarque, Emmanuel Buchmann already in ninth. And then Sebastian Reichenbach, Lars Vandenberg. 
is the new mountain leader of the Giro ahead of James Knox and Rainer Taramay. When it comes to the points classification, it stays on the shoulders of Dylan Groenewegen. Um, I'm guessing this stage didn't get 50 points like the previous one did. Pete Sagan is the current runner-up though, so that's not too bad. Best rider, to the shock of many, Remco Benepel ahead of Joe Almeida and Egan Bernal in the best team comes in the stage three. I think I've said that three times in a row now. Is Ineos Grenadiers. I mean, the plan I wanted to do was somewhat respected. It's just that Dukanak really helped me out. Dukanak did me a solid by, by pacing the entire day. Uh, so they did like the leg sapping work for the guys like Viviane, the likes of Nizzo, the likes of Caleb Yu, and I actually don't even know Caleb. Caleb finishes in, 30, in 41st position leading his group. Vlasov, Vlasov got dropped. Alexander Vlasov and Vincenzo Nibali are the first two big losers of this Giro d'Italia. Losing time on, uh, on stage three. Uh, Domenico Poduivo also fits that category. Uh, who else do we have? I mean, Matteo Fabro, but that's not really uh, too much of a shock. Han von Hooker, I guess, for the Tour Sudan. Um, I'm trying to see, but I think that's basically... Pavel Sivakov losing three and a half minutes today. Uh, actually, 3.14, my bad. So they can't count on him should, um, should Bernard have an issue. Okay. Okay, Clément Champoussin as well losing... Uh, in a half minutes, didn't expect that. Attila Volta losing 527 for the, the, the technique leader of Group FDG. Yeah, Groschartner losing six and a half minutes. Don't worry, I have a plan for Felix Groschartner. Don't you worry about him. But anyway, this is why we're going to wrap up this episode of the Jury Decided 2021 playthrough. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content in the upcoming days, want to see where Boran's goes from this point onwards to the and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And um, yeah, make sure to follow the podcast as well, the Ascent Cycling channel alongside Tim Soski, where we do daily reviews of the stages uploaded later after the, um, after the stage takes place. It's a very decent lesson. It's not too long. Uh, just if you're like, I don't know, driving, editing something, just working, put that in the background and you'll be... Um, I believe you'll be enjoying it. I, I think it's, it's a decent listen. But may, maybe I'm biased because I'm on it. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, as I said, this is where we're going to wrap up the episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. But my name is Guillaume. I have been Blackwall. Have an amazing day. And arrivederci. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. All them all the man need feeding. I don't want to go from B. Them I don't know what I do when I go from B. In the pack in black and I'm on with a bad Snapping with a phone and dab I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster